So what can we expect from the new season? <laughs> I wish I knew, bro. I know as much as you do. The riders keep us pretty much in the dark this season. But we do know that um, we're going to back to the kind of the theme of season one, uh, keeping it pretty tight with the core four. A lot of high school stuff because it's the last year of high school. I think we're really going to embrace the uh, senior year. Will we get to see some normalcy in the senior year before all of the craziness happens that I we saw so. in the last four years? I think so. I think more of the storyline will be among the, the relationships and the emotional side of things with the core four. Again, like the uh, like the first season, that was more of a vibe. Awesome. Thank you. What can you say about the first episode back? I imagine it's a little bit difficult to um, think about to film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What can you say about it? Yeah, I mean, we have uh, a couple more days left in the first episode. Uh, obviously, we are kind of dealing with the passing of Luke and, and making that work in the story. Um, but yeah, it's obviously been tough. Uh, but I think, you know, it's the right thing to do. And I think the story that we go to wrote the episode is really good. Um, and yeah, I think for Archie, this season, you know, his story is centered around kind of honoring the legacy of his father. Tell us about the fans reaching out after the kind of video. Uh, what about it? How's it been the outpour of fans? Haven't really, haven't really been engaging with fans about that. Well, we we'll see Archie as the football star artist. In season two, we see him kind of as a gangster. In season three, the boxer. Mm-hmm. What would you like to explore in season four for Archie? What would I like to explore? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, like I said before, it's it's the core four, I think, is, you know, what really draws people to the show. And I think uh, the storylines among the four of us are the ones that are the most popular and the ones that people are drawn to. So, I mean, I, I just love the opportunity to be able to work with the other three. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm always fighting someone or in prison <laughs> somewhere, and I never get to work with them. So I'd be happy, you know, with more storylines with them. Tell me about Archie's love life this season. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Archie's going strong. Uh, we see that a lot in the, in the first episode too. Obviously, there's a lot going on for Archie. Um, so Veronica, you know, is a, is a solid rock for him during that process. Uh, so yeah, they're going strong. We'll see what happens. Though. Anything can happen. This is Riverdale. <laughs> At the end of the season, um, we saw Archie and Mad Dog are like working together to kind of try to rebuild the town. Will that be a big storyline next yeah, season? So Mad, Dog, more? Uh, Mad Dog and Archie end up doing a lot of stuff this season. Um, we find out Mad Dog's real name as well. Oh, cool. Uh, in, I think, episode two, which is pretty sick. Sweet. And uh, his possibility of being introduced into the Bulldogs, oh. um, which is going to be some fun dynamics between Reggie and Mad Dog and Archie and stuff with the whole football thing. But I'm excited to get back to the football. I think that was another thing that we kind of lost along the way. Very which means cool. more vixens and more, more of that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Awesome. Archie good at football? Um, I can't remember, was he? Or was he pretty shitty? I remember Reggie just kept, <laughs> Reggie just kept thumping him every time at practice. But I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I know that he's playing a different position this year. A cooler position. Are there also plans for you guys to play your younger parents again this year? Or? I think there will be a throwback episode. No one's told us for sure, but I think based off of how popular it was last season, I think for sure we're going to do another one in another musical episode. Do you have any particular musicals you're rooting for? I don't know anything about musicals. I'll do whatever they, whatever they throw at me, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> have you all heard anything about the Sabrina crossover? I mean, at this stage, it's all still just chat, just people talking. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Roberto, uh, he's got a lot going on for at this point, so we'll see. That'd be fun, though. I'd love it. Would you like to see Archie, like, catch a break at all this season? He's kind of had a rough ride in the first three seasons. He's had a rough ride. It would be nice to have a break. Maybe uh, Roberto can write me off for a couple of weeks after we go to Hawaii or something. <laughs> <laughs> Into it, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very physical role. How do you prepare for those, uh, for, for the boxing and everything? It's a grind, bro. It's a grind. Um, you go to the gym every day. I mean, I don't particularly, you know, that's probably one of the, the hardest things that go a lot of 
the time unnoticed is that when you're working so long on set, you've got to find time to also work out as well because I got my shirt off every fucking... <laughs> every, every day, pretty much. So, um, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's probably one of the hardest parts, I think, for me, just because I, I enjoy my own time and not all the time I want to be going to the gym and stuff after work so it's tough but maybe one day I'll be able to ask him to give me a, a gym on set or something <laughs> wink wink Warner Brothers <laughs> yeah exactly what do you like well, all the weights on, the, on set are all fake they're all fake that's that's a good one. Yeah. what do you like to do on your downtime sleep right yeah have you walked the floor at all for Comic Con? Have you? I haven't. Incognito kind of. No, I haven't done it. I know Cole's going to do that at some stage. He's got got himself a good mask, I think, okay. to uh, be able to walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not telling you that. <laughs> there's been some, like throughout the season, each season, there's so many like OMG moments on Riverdale. Mm. What has been your favorite to film, and then what was your favorite to watch? OMG moment. I think uh, my favorite to film was probably breaking out of prison. I think that for me was was uh, was pretty fun. I think all the fight stuff also was was really fun for me. I think we're pretty much done with all the fighting that we can possibly <laughs> do. I, I don't know how they're going to do more of that, but I really like the physical stuff. Very cool. I need to wrap up.